Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sci fi book to movie adaptations. I guess you're okay. All right, put that on and watch them. No, I'm, I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. They were designed to copy human beings in every way except their emotions. The designers reckon that after a few years, they might develop their own emotional responses. For this list, we're looking at the greatest movies based on science fiction novels, novellas, and short stories. We'll also be considering how faithful the film was to its source. Unfortunately, we'll be excluding animated movies, which deserve their own list, and screenplays written in tandem with the novels. Sorry, Metropolis. Which of these movies is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Martian A different sort of survival movie, The Martian concerns an astronaut who's left behind on Mars following a disastrous dust storm. Commander, I need you to verbally tell me whether or not to launch. The film is adapted from Andy Weir's beloved self-published novel of the same name. Weir conducted thorough research while writing the book, resulting in a story that was both thrilling and scientifically sound. The film retains this sense of accuracy, and its depth and intelligence help elevate it above other space survival movies. I gotta figure out a way to grow three years' worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. Luckily. I'm a botanist. The fact that the film looks fantastic and features a captivating performance from Matt Damon doesn't hurt either. It'd be easy for this type of movie to feel bogged down in science and technicality, but it goes down easy and proves wickedly entertaining. I have scoured every single data file on Commander Lewis's personal drive. This is officially the least disco song she owns. Number 9. The Day the Earth Stood Still A masterpiece of science fiction with a killer title, The Day the Earth Stood Still was adapted from Harry Bates' short story Farewell to the Master. We have come to visit you in peace and with goodwill. Intended as a metaphor for both the Cold War and the nuclear arms race, the film beautifully balances sci-fi thrills with topical themes about the preservation of humanity. Your choice is simple. Join us and live in peace or pursue your present course and face obliteration. We shall be waiting for your answer. Of particular interest is the score from Bernard Herrmann, who later found success with his work on Psycho. <coughs> the electronic sound and use of unconventional instruments were revolutionary for the time, and gave the genre of science fiction its own distinct musical air. Whenever someone envisions a UFO today, they think of this creepy otherworldly music. Number 8. Arrival Canadian director Denis Villeneuve has cemented himself as one of the most talented directors of our time, and his future sci-fi classic Arrival proves why. Adapted from Ted Chiang's novella Story of Your Life, Arrival follows a linguist named Louise Banks who attempts to communicate with an alien race that's landed in Montana. The object uh, apparently touched down 40 minutes ago, just north of I-94. The film has an obsession with language and communication, so various linguistics and phonetics experts were consulted during production to aid in authenticity. We need to find out, do they make conscious choices or is their motivation so instinctive that they don't understand a why question at all? And, and biggest of all, we need to have enough vocabulary with them that we understand their answer. It's an intelligent movie that forgoes the traditional alien invasion tropes to focus on philosophical themes of universality, grief, and diplomacy. Of course, the film is also impeccably made, with inventive visual effects, a tremendous performance from Amy Adams, and a unique score from Iceland's Johan Johansson. It's my fault. I told him something that he wasn't ready to hear. Number 7. Solaris a Soviet epic, Solaris is widely regarded as one of the best and most thoughtful science fiction films ever created. The 
story is based on Stanislav Lem's novel of the same name, and follows a psychologist who investigates the bizarre communications coming from an orbital space station. The story was reportedly crafted by writer-director Andrei Tarkovsky to be more challenging than the science fiction fair of the time. While it diverged heavily from the source novel, much to the consternation of Lem, Tarkovsky was successful in bringing to life a sensitive and moving film about human nature. It later inspired movies like Inception and Event Horizon, further proving the indelible stamp it's made on sci-fi cinema. Number 6. Invasion of the Body Snatchers while everyone knows of the 1978 remake starring Donald Sutherland, the legacy of Invasion of the Body Snatchers began in 1956 with Don Siegel's iconic original. They have to be destroyed. All of them. They will be. Every one of them. Listen, we're going to have to search every building, every house in town. Technically, it began in November of 1954 when Jack Finney's serial The Body Snatchers debuted in Collier's magazine. The film acts as an effective sci-fi horror chiller an allegory for communism and the resulting red scares, and a critique on McCarthyism. At first glance, everything looked the same. It wasn't. Something evil had taken possession of the town. In other words, it tackles themes that were very much relevant to 50s audiences. Its legacy is also undeniable, especially the use of pod people as a metaphor for soulless conformity. It's a thoughtful sci-fi story that also happens to be wickedly scary. You fools! You're in danger! Can't you see? They're after you! They're after all of us! Number 5. The Thing Arguably John Carpenter's masterpiece, The Thing is a cold, pessimistic, and brutal movie based on John W. Campbell Jr.'s Who Goes There. I don't know what the hell's in there. It's weird and pissed off, whatever it is. Like many pieces of sci-fi at the time, the film serves as an allegory for social paranoia amid Cold War tensions. In many ways, it could be considered a loose remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, as they share similar themes and story ideas. You see, when a man bleeds, it's just tissue. My blood from one of you things won't obey when it's attacked. It'll try and survive. But there are few movies as bleak as The Thing. It features a dark, claustrophobic, and frigid setting, grotesque violence with outstanding visual effects, and a downbeat ending that speaks to the dangers of unchecked paranoia. What do we do? Why don't we just wait here for a little while? See what happens. It is a perfect representation of sci-fi horror, and it remains one of the scariest movies ever made. Number 4. Jurassic Park Many movies have brought dinosaurs to the big screen, but none quite like Jurassic Park. Published in 1990, this novel was written by Michael Crichton as a warning against genetic engineering, which had made significant leaps in the 80s. Legendary director Steven Spielberg made Crichton's vision a reality, creating the most lifelike dinosaurs ever seen on film by blending old-school animatronics with new-school CGI. <laughs> It is the very definition of a summer blockbuster, complete with an exhilarating story and sensational visual effects that immerse the viewer in a fantastic world. To this day, Jurassic Park is heralded as one of the greatest blockbusters ever and a magnificent feat of filmmaking. Number 3. Children of Men A very heavy movie. 
Children of Men is based on P.D. James' dystopian novel and takes place in a not-so-distant future where humanity's existence is threatened by widespread infertility. Throughout his life, Diego Ricardo was a tragic reminder of the 18 years of infertility that humanity has endured and its effect upon the world we now live in. It follows bureaucrat Theo Farron as he accompanies and protects a young pregnant woman through the war-torn police state of the United Kingdom. The film is marvelously made by director Alfonso Cuaron, complete with a detailed near-future world and some spectacular production design. <gasps> no, wait, wait, okay. <laughs> do it again, do it again! The inventive cinematography utilizes long takes to establish a realistic cinema verite style, giving the film a documentary approach. Children of Men is also a prophetic cautionary tale, touching on themes of immigration and detention, with haunting scenes that seem to reference history's darkest moments. We all know this government would never acknowledge the first human birth in 18 years from a food A wanted Fuji. Why don't we explain to Mr. Farron what they do to immigrants in this country? He knows. He's seen the cages. He's not that stupid. Number 2. 2001 A Space Odyssey Arguably the most famous science fiction movie ever made, Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey continues to confound. <laughs> very loosely based on the works of British author Arthur C. Clarke, specifically his short story The Sentinel. Clarke and Kubrick further developed the narrative while working on the screenplay, resulting in a patient movie that's less concerned with spaceflight than it is with humanity's place within the cosmos. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Critics have been interpreting this film for decades, and like the cosmos itself, we may never receive satisfactory answers. But there's no denying that 2001 is an exemplary film with an expansive imagination and the filmmaking prowess to bring its otherworldly visions to life. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. A Clockwork Orange, a difficult but rewarding film sourced from a difficult but rewarding novel. Annihilation captures the unsettling nature of Jeff Vandermeer's novel despite deviating from the source material. The Hunger Games a darker young adult movie that made Jennifer Lawrence a star. I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! Journey to the Center of the Earth, a wonderfully made classic based on a timeless Jules Verne story. Mushrooms, a forest of mushrooms. They may be hundreds of years old, but, but the small ones we can eat. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Blade Runner The works of American author Philip K. Dick have been adapted into numerous great films, including Total Recall and Minority Report. Why'd you catch that? Because it was gonna fall. You're certain? Yeah. But it didn't fall. You caught it. The fact that you prevented it from happening doesn't change the fact that it was going to happen. But perhaps his most famous work is the sci-fi novel Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which served as the basis for Ridley Scott's Blade Runner starring Harrison Ford. No choice, huh? No choice, pal. Blending elements of film noir with science fiction, the film is a masterpiece that incorporates themes of environmentalism, corporate power, religion, and human nature itself. She doesn't know. She's beginning to suspect, I think. Suspect? How can it not know what it is? Commerce is our goal here at Tyrell. More human than human is our motto. Rachel is an experiment, nothing more. It's also a gorgeous movie that contains astonishing visual effects, stylistic cinematography, and imaginative production design. The story makes tantalizing observations while gripping viewers with an intriguing hard-boiled detective story set in the grim future. All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears. 
Science fiction doesn't get much better than this. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.